start with the, pre the prepositional phrase has to have a preposition, begins with a preposition. There's got to be an object of that preposition that's a noun or a pronoun. All right? Before we do this, how many of you think this is harder than the math side? Okay. This is fun. Whoa, whoa, Jessica, don't you raise your hand. You no, can run to make a way. Jessica, back here complaining about the math. I don't do math. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Over, here's the first one. It's a doozy. Over the high coast mountains and over the valleys. All right, now embedded within that is another one. Over the valleys. There is an embedded prepositional phrase within the prepositional phrase. All right. The next one, from the ocean. Are we good so far? How many of you get in from the ocean? Anybody? No, it can't be. It's from the ocean. In can be a preposition, but here it's not. Okay? Wind blew fierce and silent. I, in the air. From... In the brush. In the forests. We good so far? 100% so far? Yes. All right. How many of you already missed something? You know. Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would be so disappointed if I didn't raise mine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next sentence. The clouds came in. In brokenly is not. Because brokenly is an adverb. It can't be the object. But, did she? Very good, coach. But in puffs is. In folds is. In gray cracks. Okay? In together is not. Because together is an adverb. Together is an adverb, so that can't be it. Over the west is the next one. How many are still at 100%? <laughs> The English folks. <laughs> How many of you would just like to chuck this whole activity? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, the next one sentence doesn't even have any. Then the wind stopped and left the clouds deep and solid. No, nothing there. The rain began. With gusty showers is a prep phrase. It's actually with gusty showers, pauses, and downpours. That's, That's the whole phrase. Okay? And then to a single tempo, small drops, and a steady beat. That's all one long phrase. To a single tempo, small drops, and a steady beat. That's all one long phrase. All right? To see through is not. All right? To evening is. All right. What about at first? <laughs> Next sentence, at first. It is not, according to my trusted English professor. Really? But every time I do this, I'll have English teachers say, yes, it is, yes, it is. <laughs> so I would give you credit for either one because I'm just not going to make the English folks mad. All right. All right. The first is actually the adverb that tells when. All right. Um, for two, so it is... Uh, Assuming that English French is correct, the first is the adverb. There's nothing in that sentence. For two days is the next one. For two days. Until the earth is not. Because until is a conjunction there. Just like and, or, for, or, but. It connects those two clauses. You do it. You go, Mr. Advanced Manufacturing <laughs> Man. <laughs> Got it. He's up and down. That's an adverbial fault. <laughs> hey! okay. Very good. All right. Then puddles form and in the low places. And in the fields. All right. Nothing in that sentence. Now we're halfway. How well did you do, player? Okay, my coach. Very good. All right, we're not done. Now we get to go to the bottom half. All right, here we go. At last, again, just like at first is not, at last is not. At last is not, just like at first is not. So we're going on into the streams. Two freshets. 
this hard. All right. Now, here we come to one that, according to my trusted English professor, depends entirely on how you read it. All right. Down the back, down the canyons can be. However, if you read that as roaring down, with down being an adverb, then it's not. Now, here's what the, the, the professor told me. It, it, down the canyons is, in fact, a prepositional phrase, but it's an adverbial prepositional phrase that modifies roaring. Okay? Into the valleys is. On steadily is not. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. To the bank sides. And in fact, this is a long one. It's in fact to the bank sides. And the next at willows and tree roots. To the bank sides. At willows and tree roots. In the current. Next, we come to one that depends on how you read it. You could have out the roots of out the roots if you read it that way, or or if you thought out was in the adverb, it's not because you could read it as cut out. All right. Of cottonwoods is, and the same thing for down the trees. It depends on how you read it. It can be, but if you read it as brought down, it's not. Okay, here we go. Along the bank sides is, up the banks is, depending on how you read it. He says that's another one. If you read it, it's crept up. It's not. Okay? Into the fields, into the orchards, into the cotton patches. Are we good? We've got another one that depends on how you read it. Up the surfaces, unless you read it as whipped up. Over the highways, under the beat, of the rain, under the turning freshets. How many of you got 100%? <laughs> yes, yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, how many of you think John Steinbeck's an idiot? All right. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank your coach and your player for helping you with this activity. And you can head back to your base groups, folks. Quick, quick, quick. Let's head back to our base groups.